Welcome back guys, it's Vidic here and today on Dreamscape we are going to be doing loot from one hour of the hardest boss in the entire game, Enraged Hades. This is an extremely difficult boss with 10 million HP. It's recommended to have a team of at least three people, but today we are going to be doing it solo. Of course, we are going to be helped out by the best setup in the entire game, which we recently did a video on. However, there have been a few upgrades to the setup, which is why there's a bunch of people over here at the Dreamland minigame, because this is where you get them. New best in slot, gloves and boots. You get these for a bunch of dream tokens, and when you put them together, you get the ultimate tribrid boots and ultimate tribrid gloves. Let's go ahead and compare these to the previous best in slot, Space Boxing Gloves and Quantum Boots. There we go, quite a bit better, especially the attack bonuses are 5 times better. Wow, and our Mage damage percent goes from 30 to 135%. So we're going to be sporting this OP setup today to help us out a little bit and make sure we get as many kills as possible. Now before we start here, I'm giving away 10 super mystery boxes. We're going to have 2 winners, 5 boxes each. All you gotta do to answer is like the video, subscribe to my channel, turn on post notifications, and leave your Dreamscape in-game name down below. Alright, so I got a few potions running, but I figure I might as well pop them again so you guys see exactly what I'm using. Dream Magic Potion, Dream Drop Rate Potion, we've got a Dream Double Drop Potion, and a Dream Luck Potion. There we go. Alright, and here we are in the Enraged Hades Lair. We're gonna go ahead and pop an Overload. We're also gonna use a God Mode, 25% boost of damage in Raids. But we will have to use some protection prayers to uh, avoid his one-shot mechanics. And that's pretty much it. So let's get our stopwatch in here. One hour of the hardest boss in the game solos. Let's get started. All right. Get, get out of the way. So at the beginning here for the first 2.5 million HP, all we got to focus on is hitting him. His attacks do quite a bit of damage, but they cannot hit us 109. So we don't have to worry about getting one shot just yet. That will start at 7.5 mil. And here it is. So his next attack is going to be a one-shot mechanic. That is the ranged. You have to put on protect from ranged. And that is the magic. They're a little bit darker than the other ones, so they're easy to distinguish. You only have like a second to get those on, so you've got to make sure you're quick. Now, this is his super attack, which starts at 500k HP. You just got to get underneath there. And uh, all those things will come down from the sky. If you miss it, you will die. And be careful, because even after that massive attack comes down he can still throw out a one shot afterwards so that's why you want to keep your fingers on your prayers still for that first attack after the uh the barrage we'll call it now i'm gonna avoid these things coming down from the sky they can one shot you most of the time they'll hit you a little bit lower but if they stack with hades shot then uh then you'll then you'll most certainly die all right we got another little circle here you're just gonna want to hop in here we got rainbow fist just in case we uh, get a little bit low hp but Food isn't super important here. If you need food, you're probably going to die, is the basic idea. Now, he's going to do two of these at about 2.5 mil HP. And then we're going to want to hop back on him for the last part of the boss fight. He's going to spawn these poison clouds wherever you walk. They'll do a lot of damage, and they'll make it so he can actually one-shot you if you're not protecting. So we're just going to kind of ring around the rosy, keep hitting him every single time we stop. And it's just this until the end. No more mechanics, no more one-shot or barrages. And our first kill of Hades is done. There we go. Give me them DS coins. That took about 2 minutes and 20 seconds. Not bad at all. We should be able to get quite a bit of kills in this hour. But So, let's just head back in there. Make as best time as possible and see how much stuff we can get. But let's try not to die this entire time. Let's see if we can do this entire hour of Hades without a single death. And look at that. He did it. No! I got it on! No! fuck all right well that that's it for no deaths this entire time <laughs> as i said the first time he can still throw out a one-shot mechanic even after he does that uh that that barrage move so we got a little unlucky there i think what actually killed us though was the meteor coming down from the sky there we go okay a couple zebos invitations we're probably gonna get a lot of those throughout these kills but maybe you know maybe we can get something rare oh shit oh shit this is the problem no Oh, I'm gonna barely make it. Okay, we got it. The okay, no, we didn't barely, barely make it, but the problem is that's the problem. What the fuck? 
but I got it now. No more deaths. We still got 50 minutes left to get a ton of kills. Let's go ahead and do this. Oh my god. How did I get... How did I not... What? I should have died right there. Now, it kind of seems like he puts more of the little safe zones to this north side. So I think what we're going to do is switch up the strategy a little bit. And instead of going all around him, we'll just stay above him and run back and forth to avoid these meteors. One thing I don't like... Oh god. No, hit him. Only thing I don't like is how I can't see him die. It sends me out here. I want to see that... Oh, got hit right there. I want to see that little bitch fall to the ground. Oh, you know what? I'm stupid. You can actually tell what attack he's going to use by what he says. If he says, er, it's arranged. If he says, mmm, <laughs> it's a mage. Oh, God, it's far. And I got to right click. No! Oh, my God. Wow, I made it. I made it somehow. Oh my god, no! No! I'm fucking die, god damn it, dude. <laughs> I can't now I could not right click. It's so hard to click the right side of your mouse. See so if you can get all these poison clouds in a row. Make a little bit of art. Why not? Actually, watch this. No, walk there, please. Fuck! I'm trying to make a dick, dude. God damn it. Alright, here we go. We're making the dick. We're doing it. There we go. Left nut. Right nut. Oh god, that was a risky nut. Hey. <laughs> disrespected, Hades. Get disrespected. You just got a dick made out of your attacks. Alright. You're supposed to give me the rare drop, man. What were you doing? What? What the fuck just killed me? God, did I, did I run back into the, the meteor, I think? Oh, look at that. We got 20 empowered Hades tablets. Now you get 300 of these empowered tablets and you can actually make the Hades offhand. It is the best melee offhand in the game. It's got 5,000 melee strength bonus and then 3,500 in each of the attack stats. So it's really good, but you do need 300 of them. So it's extremely rare. What? God damn it. Again, I think it's, is it the meteors that's getting me? We got this part put down pretty well, though, avoiding these barrages. Um, I'm not running around anymore. Uh, since I got the strategy down a little bit better, I know exactly how long it takes for them to spawn. It's just like a couple attacks. All right, well, we are at 58 minutes. That's going to give us enough time for one more kill. We died on the past two somehow after not dying for like 10 in a row. So let's make this a perfect one all the way through. No mistakes. Let's see what we can do. All right, on to the mmms and the errs. Perfect so far. Let's not fuck this up. Concentrate. There we go. Wait for him to do one more. He did not, though. Keep on one of these protections because he's probably going to throw another one out at us. Now we can instantly walk away so we don't get hit by the meteor. Get on protect from ranged. So far, so good. Oh, God. I almost didn't dodge that one. All right. We cannot die on the last kill. That wouldn't be good. That would be embarrassing. Hades, don't be a bitch and scam me. See, I think what's going on is I'm dying like in that spot when he spawns these because there's one more meteor coming down. But now I'm being careful about that. And I think we did it. Perfect kill. The gas part is the easiest. Let's try to make an egg again. Fuck it. Right? We'll make a smaller egg. How about that? Because we kill him too quick. But I gotta stay attacking him so he dies, obviously. There it is! We made a circle! Yay! That's how you get- you don't make the dick. You make a circle. And we get the loot. Fuck you, bitch. There we go. Just over a few seconds past the one hour mark. We had a few deaths throughout the entire thing, but that boss is super tricky. Besides the mechanics that you can learn, uh, there's just a lot of little, like, different stuff that happens. I mean, him throwing out those, those one-hit attacks after he does his, uh, barrage, after 7.5 mil HP, and then those meteors, how they also kind of, I don't know, those kept fucking me the most, to be honest, in the end. Well, when he was hitting 2.5 mil, and I, it's almost like an invisible one came down and bonked me on the head. But either way, there we go. Loot from one hour of Enraged Hades soloing the hardest boss in the game. We got 929k DS coins. We got 10 Zebos invitations, which we can use to come over here and fight Zebos, which we might as well do really quick. He's, really, he's pretty low HP. There we go. Now we just kill Zebos' dumbass. And I'll see you later, buddy.
We also got 20 Empower Tablets, 300 of these are used to make the best melee offhand, the Hades offhand, and we got 50 Infinity Keys, so we might as well open those. It's that colon colon soul room to get over to the areas with chests and the Infinity Chest. Stuff's getting sent to our bank. Go to my inventory. This chest doesn't give you the best stuff, but I mean, you get 10 of these at a time, so you can make some money off of them. Royal Sickle, my worst enemy. Fuck it, let's just spam click him. Oh, we got a Ring of Wealth imbued. And there we go. Alrighty, guys. Well, that is going to be it for today's video. One hour of Enraged Hades. We didn't get anything super rare today, but that's alright. We can't always be lucky. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. Like the video if you did enjoy it. Subscribe to my channel if you want to do a little more videos. And have a nice day.